Crocker is above Phelps. Phelps looks like he's passing Crocker. Phelps needs to get by Cabbage. Does he have enough in the tank to get it done? Cabbage is swimming top. Phelps above him in lane five. I don't know if he's going to catch him. He gets it done. In the 2008 Olympics in Beijing, Michael Phelps beat out Serbia's Milorad Savic by one one-hundredth of a second. This race illustrated one of the biggest facts in competitive swimming, every millisecond counts. Swimmers will shave their entire bodies and refuse to cut their fingernails the night before a race for fear of any slightest thing costing them the win. Swimmers are constantly practicing, building endurance and speed, and improving their stroke technique to shave even the tiniest bit of time off their race. They're always looking to get an advantage in the water. The best way for these competitive or professional swimmers to get ahead, literally, is through using better technology in their gear. The biggest and most controversial technological market in recent years has been with the high-tech swimsuits, produced by companies like Speedo or Arena. Speedo alone spent 55,000 man-hours designing their suit with the help of experts in biomechanics and fluid dynamics, and even some NASA researchers. The key to maximizing possibility for speed is through compression, which means making the body as tight and hydrodynamic as possible. The main swimwear companies approach this problem in a variety of ways, but most came to the solution of using materials like carbon fiber as part of the body of the swimsuit. Carbon fiber, a popular material often used in aerospace engineering, civil engineering, motorsports, and other competitive sports, is composed of carbon atoms bonded together to form a long chain. The process of this material being made comes down to both chemical and mechanical means. A plastic fiber composed of thousands of filaments is chemically altered using heat to form a chain of carbon atoms at about 500 degrees Fahrenheit in the presence of oxygen to allow the fiber to burn. The purpose of this is to change the atomic structure of the fibers so that they are heat resistant. Next, the carbon fibers are drawn into long strands and then heated to a very high temperature again without coming in contact with oxygen so that the non-carbon atoms are expelled. This process is called carbonization, leaving us with almost pure carbon sheets in which the carbon atoms are arranged in a hexagonal pattern. One of the most favorable qualities of carbon fiber is its incredibly high strength to weight ratio at a magnitude just below Kevlar and above spider silk. It is not only strong, but also very rigid. Carbon fiber reinforced plastic is in fact over four times stiffer than glass reinforced plastic. Most importantly, carbon fiber's tensile strength or the maximum stress that it can withstand while being stretched is 4 gigapascals, almost five times the strength of stainless steel, yet almost half the density. Carbon fibers have many uses in a variety of industries due to its high strength to weight ratio. In the aerospace industry, carbon fibers often replace aluminum and titanium. The light weight is ideal because it reduces fuel consumption of planes. One of the most commonly known uses of carbon fibers in airplanes is the Boeing 787 Dreamliner made with 23 metric tons of carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is being used more and more in the sports industry for softball bats, tennis rackets, and hockey sticks because more traditional materials would be heavier, slowing the athlete's swing. Finally, carbon fibers are used to make wind turbine blades. They provide the stiffness required for the blades without being excessively heavy. These are just a few of the ways carbon fibers are used. So how do these properties help build the ideal swimsuit? It all comes down to compression and drag reduction efficiency, something that carbon fiber is able to accomplish effortlessly in the fabric of a swimsuit. A carbon cage within the suit is designed to compress muscles and store potential energy. Due to its high tensile strength, the fiber can withstand a lot of tension without breaking. 
This allows a high performance swimsuit to maintain the natural elasticity of a regular swimsuit so that the swimmer has a maximum range of motion and flexibility without the fear of ripping. The carbon cage is also able to compress the body, making it as hydrodynamic as possible, without sacrificing the ability to move freely. Furthermore, the carbon fiber delivers the ultimate strength to weight ratio, reducing the likelihood of tearing while remaining lightweight like a second skin. Science and the use of materials has come far in improving competition swimsuits. However, it brings controversy too. Athletes and officials have started arguing that people aren't setting world records, these high-tech suits are. This argument came to head in 2008 when Speedo released their laser suit, which used neoprene and polyurethane materials in the body. This suit trapped air inside, increasing the buoyancy of the swimmers because drag from air is significantly less than the drag from water. These suits reduced drag by 8%. In the 2008 Olympics, 98% of medals went to swimmers wearing a Speedo laser suit. In 2009 alone, 147 new world records were set, all by swimmers in the laser suit. In 2010, to combat this issue, the Fédération Internationale de Natation, the international governing body for swim competitions, banned the Speedo laser suits as well as any suits that went past the knee or were designed to increase buoyancy. Currently, only textile high-tech competition suits, like ones made with carbon fibers, are allowed in official swim races. Carbon fiber effectively exemplifies the MSE paradigm. Carbon goes through the carbonation process, which creates almost pure carbon atoms in graphite form. By this process, the structure of the material is altered to be in long chains of carbon atoms that have a high strength to weight ratio and to have a higher tensile strength. These properties allow for carbon fiber to be used in a multitude of ways, which is particularly seen with the big effect it's had on the swimming community. Since carbon fiber does not create buoyancy like polyurethane, neoprene, or any other band materials, it allows for the swimmer's abilities to be highlighted instead of giving them an unnatural advantage. Carbon fiber is thus the perfect material to tie together humanity and technology.